Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our seventh video as part of our series of video of our playlist Tally's latest release 6.0. So we are seeing the bank reconciliation features of release 6.0. In the last video, we saw how we can quickly reconcile the exact match. In this video, we will see the other scenarios or other use cases where you can basically match the books entry with the bank statement and conduct the reconciliation. So last time we also saw how you can set it up the potential match. And in this video, we will see other use cases. Let us go to tally and explore the auto bank reconciliation feature. In the previous video, we learned how we can use the potential match feature and reconcile transactions faster. We also saw how you can quickly create transaction from the bank statement into your company. In this video, we shall walk through the various other use cases of scenarios to handle different type of exceptions in transactions and bank statements. I'm sure all of you now know the steps to import bank statement. In case you are not aware, the link to my previous videos are provided in the description. You can check the same. What you are viewing here is the bank statement details. Let us now import this into the company. To import the bank statement, click on import or just press I. Import, it is importing. The summary of imported statement is displayed here where there are 14 transactions matching with exact matches and there are 23 transactions of new entries which have been imported successfully, which means there are 37 entries of bank statements that have been imported into the company. Now we have to reconcile the statement with the book entries. To reconcile, click on bank reconciliation summary or you can press yes. Click here. The cursor is on the unreconciled transaction. Move the cursor to the current period. Click here and enter. So we have seen this three sections which says exact match with amount and instrument number matching which we saw 14 exact matches. Then it says available only in the book where there are 11 transactions available only in the book. And when you come down the third section is available only in the bank where there are 9 transactions. First let us go to the exact match. So in the previous video, we saw how quickly we can reconcile the exact match. Let me quickly reconcile the exact match. All you have to do is select the transactions. So I've selected all the transactions. Come to the right hand side button bar and click on reconcile. The moment you click on reconcile, we notice here that now the exact match transactions have been reconciled. So now we have two sections available only in the book and available only in the bank. Now in the last session, we saw how you can quickly click on potential matches and reconcile. Now before we use the potential match option, if you are clear about certain transaction or transactions, you can right away do the reconciliation from this screen also, let's say you notice this first transaction in the book where the payment is made to Mangalore Chemicals and Fertilizers for the amount of 4000 rupees. The same entry is reflecting here in the bank statement on 2nd of October. If you see here, the bank statement also mentions the party name, which is Mangalore Chemicals. There is a reference number and here in the books of account, the reference number was not captured. That is why it is not classified under exact match. So the amount is 4,000, the amount is 4,000 here. Now, how do we reconcile this? Since we know these two are 
the match all you have to do is click on the transaction available in the book and click reconcile so when you click reconcile this transaction is comes on top for reconciliation notice the screen has now two section one is your transaction selected for reconciliation and the next one it it also provides information of unique amount match and amount match which is the repetition of the same which again we understood the logic in our previous session again if you have not seen the previous video the link is provided in the description now before we do the reconciliation just observe on the right hand side button bar there are three buttons that are available here the first button is show available only in books so here though we are now ready to reconcile this transaction if you want to see the transactions available in the book what was shown earlier before we clicked on reconcile click here you will get the information of available only in the book now if you want to hide them again this toggles hide available only in the book click here and the transaction as per book is hidden the next one this is available only in the bank now tally is already identified this transaction for my book entry here so if you want to just hide this available only in the bank come here on the right side button bar click on hide available only in the bank or you can use the keyboard shortcut control r click here available only in the bank is hidden if you want to view them again click here it will show the third one is the potential match the potential match which is here for some reason if you want to hide them again you can use this button here press alt s or click on hide potential match the potential match gets hidden again click here show potential match it displays the potential match now let us see how we can reconcile this transaction with the bank statement you can either select the unique amount match or the amount match you can select since both are the repetition in two separate segment it is displaying so select this unique amount match and you have this button on the right hand side which says add so when you click on add now this selected bank transaction gets added to your book transaction and now it is linked so once it is linked all you have to do is click on reconcile or you can just press r i'm just clicking on reconcile and you will notice that the 4000 rupees transaction has been reconciled this way you can manually select transaction for reconciliation so let's press escape now let us use the option of potential matches for tally to identify potential matches so click here on potential matches click here now tally is automatically linked the transactions based on the reference number and the probable amount now this is where you can use the potential match rule to simplify your reconciliation let's say first you want to reconcile unique amount matches so here is your unique amount match so first you want to reconcile the unique amount matches again click on potential match configuration or use the keyboard shortcut alt s i'm clicking here now we are getting the list of the default rule configuration so what we want we want to view only unique amount matches so which means come down here press press enter to toggle to no come down select the next one no next one next one no and here you can either press control a or you can just press escape this will get automatically saved so now we are seeing the unique amount matches only so to reconcile all you have to do is just come down here select the bank transaction and click on reconcile and this exact match amount is reconciled now let us click on potential match configuration and set the other options to yes again you can press escape so the next is we are viewing the unique instrument number matches where in the book also the instrument number is captured and the bank statement also has the same instrument number but if you notice here the values are different 
in the books you have captured 3100 whereas the statement is reflecting 3150 probably this 50 rupees difference could be bank charges which you have not accounted for so even assuming that you know that this is the entry 50 is what is the difference amount even if you reconcile this entry it will not fully reconcile let us reconcile and see what happens i select the bank statement transaction and click on reconcile so it is reconciled now press escape and come back to the previous screen you will notice here there is a new section which says partially reconciled so it says that there is a difference of 50 rupees so what is our next course of action so all you have to do is you can come down here and correct this particular transaction so select the transaction as per book entry press enter and here you have this transaction so the party is paid 3150 come to the bank ledger and enter this as 3150 which is what is debited in the bank enter and it automatically captures all the reference information in the bank sub screen so just press control a and the next debit is going to be your bank charges enter 50 rupees now it is 3150 and 3150 just accept control a and the partially reconciled transaction is now fully reconciled let us take the next use case scenario there are two entries in the books of account where the company's debited traveling expenses for 1950 and again there is an entry for 2000 rupees in the books of account so there are two entries in the books of account which is adding up to 3950 now when you come down to available only in the bank if you check this transaction it says to sai tours and travels 3950 has been issued or paid with the reference number the reference number is also unique now in this reconciliation activity that you can perform tally allows you to select more than one entry in your books of account for reconciliation purpose or the other way round you can select more than one bank transaction and reconcile with the available only in the book transaction so now how do we reconcile this first select traveling expenses by pressing space bar come to the second transaction traveling expenses space bar and click on reconcile when you click on reconcile these two transactions have come in the top section for reconciliation where you have to now identify the transaction which are available in the bank so we had already identified this transaction which is 3950 and all you have to do is just add to this and link with this two entries as per book with this single entry as per the bank statement so there is no difference here and all you have to do is just click on reconcile and it automatically reconciles we understood how we can select multiple voucher either in book or in the bank entry for reconciliation we also understood the concept of partial reconciliation and we also learned how you can modify the difference i hope This video would have given you a fair idea of how you can handle your various use cases of your reconciliation scenarios and how easy and simple it is in tally for you to conduct the bank reconciliation. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.